Hello and welcome to the 47th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the pager functionality. We'll be using the source code from this 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Pagination is a cool feature, but if you desire something a little simpler, then pager is what you want. It essentially provides backward and forward buttons instead of buttons for each page. Sort of like how a blog works. Bootstrap, like everything else, makes it easy to implement, so let's open our index.html and code away so we're just going to put it outside of the row but as an extra task we would like you to put it inside the row and columns to see how it works when you resize the page so what you need to do is create a nav, this takes no class or id then in here you need to create an unordered list and this has a class of pager and that's built in so we won't be coding that so that's all good now we need to, need to create a list item the list item is basically going to be the left button and well the right button so we're going to do list item and inside we're going to put a href we're just going to put hash inside but you can make it do whatever you want maybe you're going back and forwards the page maybe you're just switching a carousel like an image slider on the website or you're switching between internal pages on a website on a blog or whatever you want I'm just going to put the text previous copy and paste this now um, but we're going to change this text to next and now we're ready to run this bad boy in our web browser scroll down there we go we have previous and next buttons it's really that simple the next tutorial will cover pager aligned links if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description to see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day